One significant initiative at a time, African cities are changing. The list is enormous, ranging from gorgeous skyscrapers to megacities constructed from nothing. Africa's cities are receiving a much-needed facelift thanks to these multi-million dollar development projects, but this is not just for show. By creating job opportunities, enhancing the quality of life, and attracting investors, the projects have significant economic and social significance for both the populace and the government. The top 10 mega projects under construction are examined. Remember to like this video. Make sure to stick around till the end. New administrative capital. The largest project being worked on in Africa right now is called New Administrative Capital, NAC. On 700 square kilometers of land in Egypt, a large project is about to begin. The project's location is roughly 45 kilometers east of Cairo, the nation's capital. To be more precise, the NAC is being built halfway to the port city of Suez, right outside the Second Greater Cairo Ring Road in a mostly underdeveloped area. The announcement was made by Mostafa Madbouli, the country's housing minister at the time, in March 2015. The same year, construction got underway at a minimum cost of $250 billion. Upon completion, the NAC will take over as Egypt's new administrative and financial capital. The major government agencies, ministries and embassies will all call it home. The population of the new administrative capital, NAC, will be 6.5 million people overall, with the potential for an increase to 7 million. Al-Galala City Al-Galala City, also in Egypt, is the continent's second largest active project. This project will be built on Al-Galala Al-Bahareya, which is 700 meters above sea level and situated between Ain Sokna and Zafarana in the Red Sea region. On the El Galala Plateau, an integrated city costing more than $63 billion is being built by the Armed Forces Engineering Authority and more than 100 local civil construction firms. Once completed, Al Galala City will have upscale and affordable apartments, resorts, hotels, a water park, and a facility that produces phosphate fertilizers. The city will also house the first Olympic village in Egypt. The city's construction originally began in 2015. New Alamein City. Egypt also hosts the third largest active project in Africa. Particularly, the new Alamein City project is situated inside the administrative boundaries of Masa Matru Governorate on the North Coast region. The more than $60 billion project, which was first announced in 2018, features the novel idea of a tourism metropolis that is accessible to the general people. The new Alamein City will provide an alternative to living in Cairo's crowded metropolis in addition to its touristic advantages. As a result, the new city will ease some of the city's residential strain in the nation of North Africa. Lapset Corridor The fourth largest active project in Africa, the Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport, Lapset Corridor, transports us from North Africa to East Africa. The largest and most complex project of its sort in Eastern Africa, costing more than $24.5 billion, is a transportation and infrastructure undertaking. The project, which was started by the Kenyan government, calls for building dams, resort cities, international roads, trains and airports, in addition to seaports and airports. The construction began in 2012. The NEPAD Infrastructure Project Preparation Facility is providing financial support for the project, which is being carried out by the Lapset Corridor Development Authority, LCDA. Centenary City The fifth largest active project in Africa is from Nigeria. A $1.260 billion master-planned community called Centenary City is being built in the Federal Capital Territory on 1,260 hectares of undeveloped land. When everything is finished, the city will have a financial hub, a central commercial area, and a mixed-use urban core. Additionally, it will have a museum, 
a center for the promotion of African and international artists, luxury hotels, Class A offices, and residential neighborhoods. In addition, Centenary City will contain a safari park, an international convention center, an 18-hole golf course, a polo and country club, and other sports and leisure amenities. The private sector-driven city will also have facilities for healthcare, education, and community services. Centenary City FZE is developing Centenary City as part of Nigeria's vision to create the city of the future smart city along the same lines as Dubai, Monaco, and Singapore. Mesob Tower. The Mesob Tower project will serve as a global representation of Ethiopian culture. It aims to strengthen the nation's already rapidly expanding hospitality and tourism industries. The Mesob Tower will be a wonder to see, standing 250 meters tall and taking up 20,000 square meters of space in the center of Addis Ababa. The tower will have hotels, shopping centers, and other amenities in addition to a cultural center that showcases distinct Ethiopian customs. Tourists will be able to visit by 2027. Tatu City. Rendeva created the 5,000-acre special economic zone known as Tatu. Tatu City is moreover a part of the World Free Zones organization. It provides middle-class Kenyans with cheap housing options. To create more dwelling units, Phase 3 of development is now being added. There are already 150,000 people living there, but future construction is planned to increase that number. Universities, businesses, and shopping centers are also found throughout the city. In short, it's one of the African and Kenyan smart towns that is expanding the quickest. Recycling Plant North of Durban, in the South African seaside town of Belito, the Alpala Group is constructing a new recycling facility. The facility heralds the company's entry into the African recycling sector, producing 35,000 metric tons per year of recycled polyethylene terephthalate PT, material. Beginning in the summer of 2023, construction is expected to be finished by the fall of 2024. The second largest province by population in South Africa, this 90,000 square meter site is the first investment in a food grade PAT recycling facility there and a significant regional investment. In the future, 35,000MT of mechanically recycled RPT flakes and pellets, the majority of which Alpla will process to make its bottles, will be made from the over 60 000 MT of PET bottles that are recycled annually. Hydropower Project A 300 MWW hydropower project called El Menzel de Coup is planned for the Moroccan region of Fes Meknes. The project is now in its announced stage and will be developed in a single phase. It is planned that construction will begin in 2024 and that operations will begin in 2027. El Menzel Secu is being built by Office Nationale de l'Electricité et de l'Eau Potable, who also owns the project. Wind Farm Project With a project value of over $10 billion, the Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company PJSC Mastar, Infinity Power and Hassan Alam Utilities signed an agreement with Egypt's new and renewable energy authority to secure land for the construction of an onshore wind farm with a 10 gigawatt GW capacity that is expected to be among the largest in the world. The historic wind project will generate 47,790 gigawatt hours of clean energy yearly and replace 23.8 million tons of carbon dioxide, which will cut Egypt's carbon emissions by around 9%. Additionally, the wind farm will assist Egypt in achieving its strategic goal of obtaining 42% of its electricity from renewable sources by 2030. The 10 gigawatts project will spare the North African country 5 billion in natural gas costs. In conclusion, the ongoing mega-projects in Africa 
are not merely infrastructural marvels. They are the embodiment of a continent's unwavering determination to rise, innovate, and thrive. These colossal endeavors stand as beacons of progress, showcasing Africa's boundless potential and its people's resilience. As these projects continue to shape the landscape and pave the way for a brighter future, we can only anticipate the remarkable transformations they will bring to this diverse and vibrant continent. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you.